buy a Jeep Gladiator and prove you are better than everybody who said your small dick is tiny. Dude, I think I'm gonna get a Gladiator. This is sick. Man, I'm still looking at like what kind of car I should get too though. Get a WRX and flex on everyone. What is a WRX? Weeb car? WRX STI? I thought STIs were bad. Dude, I'm actually, I'm no joke starting to lean towards getting a Jeep, like getting a Jeep Wrangler as like a streaming car. But here's the thing, I would need it as a streaming car plus a car that can carry stuff. If you want a streaming car that can carry stuff, you want a truck. Yeah, exactly. Like a, either either a truck or a big SUV. Get Jeep Gladiator. Hold on, is a Gladiator basically a Wrangler but bigger? Is it a Wrangler with a bed? Taking the doors off a Wrangler? Actually, dude, taking the doors off a Wrangler is kind of cool. Or a Gladiator, not a Wrangler. Am I dumb for thinking this is kind of cool? Get yourself a Cornwood truck, not a commie truck. Dude, a Jeep is like, I think the Jeep is badass. And the more I look at the Gladiator, the more it's starting to kind of like, it's starting to grow on me yeah. a little bit. The Gladiator is starting to grow on me. Abigail, I'm online and happy to help. Dude, these ladies are just DMing me all the time, dude. You see that? That's so sick, dude. Tim has a Gladiator, really? Tim the Tatman Gladiator. You open the door. Wait, that's Step sick! You open the door. Man, I, I'm starting to kind of like, it's weird though, because whenever I first saw the Gladiator, I said, ew, gross, and then it like grew on me kind of quickly. You're a gladiator, not a Wrangler, just get over the joke. True. What is Wrangler 4XE? What does 4XE mean? Is a 4XE like a hybrid? Why are you paying 20,000 more dollars to save money on gas? Jeep guy. That was sick. I'm never gonna need that. How did that even happen? The Wrangler is wicked. Okay. This is a 1991 Ferrari F40. It is one of the most iconic, unforgettable, special, amazing, thrilling, exhilarating cars in. No, I don't. I don't want this. I don't even fit in this. S fan on doorless Jeep, dude. Are you serious? This would not be me on my doorless Jeep. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. What is this? The, uh, a Hummer? Didn't they get rid of the Hummer? Is the Hummer back? I thought the Hummer and the McRib were like a, a pair. I don't think I would drive a Hummer. Do you feel embarrassed because you never served? Do you feel shame every Memorial Day? Well, buy a Jeep Gladiator and let's visit the land of make-believe. Remember Willys? Remember war? Congratulations, you're ready for war. Remember Willy's Overland? They made the Jeep. They won the war again. No, it was Bantam that made the Jeep, and they won the war again. War in my headlights, war in my cup holders, war in my startup screen. When war is on a bagel, you can have atrocities anytime. Buy a Jeep Gladiator and prove you are better than everybody who said your small dick is tiny. Dude, I think I'm gonna get a Gladiator. This is sick. Get this. Mercedes-Benz G700 Bra Bus. What's a Bra Bus? I wanna see the inside. Does he never go, does he never go inside of it? What? This is an 11 minute video where it never goes inside. Dude, this guy found somebody's car in a parking lot and just walked around and videotaped it for 11 minutes and threw it on YouTube. This car has a little room for you. What? 21 foot tall? The Rainbow Sheik's Monster Hummer H1. Dude, how do you, how do you get gas with this thing? This car's a donk walk. It is, dude. This SUV has plenty of room. What? That, why? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Get this color and this car. This is something you won't have seen before. It's the 2020 Wait, BMW what? X6 covered in the darkest man-made material ever made. Wait, what? Dude, this is actually bad. You, you don't like, this is bad. Like what if you're, yeah, what if you're driving at night? Now VR6 is its ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need that, guys. Yeah, I don't think I need that. 
What about a Nissan? I have a Nissan now. No, Nissan is good now. No, 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 chat. Nissan is good. Nissan is actually good now. Like, people who say, like, Nissan isn't good are people that they're thinking, like, from years and years and years ago. Nissan is very good now. The all-black Maxima looks sick. Maxima is the kind of car that looks cooler than it costs. And that's that's a very good thing. Like, I think the Maxima looks cooler than GTR. Uh... I don't, I don't want a Bronco. I don't want a Bronco. Mm, get this. No, I don't... See... <laughs> Dude, I actually like how this looks too. Like, this looks like a big Maxima. I just really, like, I like the contrast. I like, like, I like white and black. I like, I like the contrast. But yeah, the Murano basically just looks like they took a, it's like the Maxima's big brother. Hyundai? Look guys, I didn't like Korea that much. Okay. What is a Hyundai Tucson? Mmm. A Kia Telluride? I've heard the Tellurides are really good. Get a Lambo or you're poor. Thanks to your dad. Thanks, dude. You know what car people either absolutely love or they think looks dumb? I think people either think this car looks sick or stupid. I think these look cool, but people think people think they look stupid. There's like people either they think they look really cool or they look really stupid. It's always one or the other. See, like this would be cool, but like uh, realistically, <laughs> what? That's it. It's gone. Batman Justice League car? The what the frick? What is this? Slash, slash. I'm not getting a tractor. <laughs> dude, I feel like, do, do, why do people waste their time making crazy concept cars like this? Like, why do these companies waste their time making these if they're never gonna make them? Like, there's, there's ne they're never gonna make this. Dude, so this car doesn't exist in America. This brand. P like, how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this in American? They have this in Iran. I have one in Oregon. No, you don't. You're lying. Wait, really? Is it Pugat? In Iran, they call it Peugeot. And everybody drives, like, the standard issue car is a white Peugeot. Like, you get a taxi and it's like, your Peugeot is Sefid. It's always. Oh, that's right? Oh. Well, I want to say an American. Pugat. But they don't, they don't even sell them in America. What is this asymmetric three-seater? X. E tense. It's based in Paris. What? It's like a butterfly door on this side. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, this looks sick. This looks like a Batmobile. Self-healing skin? Terzo Millennial. It's 2017 Lamborghini. The world's longest doors? What? That's way too big. Oh wait, I've seen this before. I've seen a video of this one before. Is this BMW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when it, there's lights and when it turns, the, the yeah, it turns red. Amazing. There's lights on the inside. Link. This car pays homage to the 1937 world record. Dude, there ain't nothing look like this in 1937. Dude. This is, th this car's in GTRP, it's so funny, dude. This car is in GTRP on no pixel. It is so funny, dude. You know what's crazy to me? Like not being scared to flip a car. Like how, dude, I would be so terrified to be in a car that's flipping. This would be so scary to me. He's got a helmet that doesn't, that's not gonna stop something from breaking and like piercing an organ. Right now I'm thinking of Murano or RAV4 if I want an SUV. BMW X3. Like I think a Jeep Wrangler or a Jeep Gladiator. I'm not really a truck guy though. I own a RAV4, it's solid, decent range, price and deliver what you want to do. Only go for a Jeep, you're going off road, more that, and you want a true stick shift. I mean, I'm never gonna go off road. Like, when would I ever go off road? X3M is the wave. Here's the thing 70K, if, I, if I'm gonna spend 70K on a car, I might as well get something cool. Volvo, oh, dude, actually though, the new Volvos look cool too. Because, look, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. The most important thing about a car is not like, people are like, oh, look at these features, and I have Bose speakers, and we have, you know, safety, whatever. It's a camera here. Look, it's got to look good. The car, like, that's it. Like, it, does the car look cool? That's all that matters. I know Volvo is like, it's like a, that's like an old man car, kind of, but like, the, these actually look cool. Like, I, I like this. I like this look. Planning to get an SUV for practical things. I just want to see how many bodies I can pile into the car at once, right? Like if we want to go, like, if we want to go someplace and I need to take like four people, five people, or 
like I need to carry stuff. If, I'm, if I like purchase something, I need to move something from location A to location B. Lamborghini Yoris. Dude, this is the best of both worlds. Is if I want a cool car that's an SUV, this is this is best of both worlds. Dr. Mike drives one of these. It's not good though. Dr. Mike says his car is incredible. I think this looks awesome. Are you rich enough? I'm not. So that's the problem. The problem with this car is that I, I can't afford. I'm I'm not I, I I could not afford this. But it is sick. Yeah, guys, sub so I can get this uh, crazy sports car. I would definitely have to save up for a while for this. This would take a minute. Uh, just get this. I don't I don't want a cyber truck. At one point, I was thinking I should get a Mustang, and I was really leaning towards getting a Mustang. But then they didn't let me. They didn't let me test drive it. Also, I realized I was broke because I just bought the house. If you go to a dealership, they like. At least in my experience, they like won't let you test drive. I've gone to try and test drive and they're like, they say no. I walked out of a dealership one time and said, call me back when I'm allowed to test drive this. I'll see you guys later. They call you back? No. I didn't buy the car. Dude, I think you need to walk in with a suit and a briefcase, like a businessman. And then whenever they're talking to you, you pull out your phone and you say, excuse me, this is important. Hello? Oh yes, the stocks, indubitably. And then you say, hold on, this is important. Yes. Yes. Buy a thousand shares. Yes, thank you. Sorry, that was my assistant's assistant. Um, what were you saying? If you act that way, then they're like, oh shit.